At 36, his body is scarred, and the pain in his back may never go away. But while older athletes expect betrayal from their bodies, Leonid Taranenko's undoing came at the hands of his own country. 12 years ago, he stood in Moscow and won an Olympic gold medal as a heavyweight. Less than a year later, the same coaches who so vigorously celebrated his victory made him an outcast. My sports life has been difficult, with more disillusionment than success. I always thought I was a free person and refused to submit to demands that lacked any normal human common sense. What was he guilty of? By Western standards, it seems ludicrous. Leonid Taranenko was a free thinker who upset officials by voicing his opinions. His punishment was exclusion from teams competing outside the Soviet Union from 1980 to 84. If an athlete voiced political ideas, he could displease officials who wouldn't let him out of the country. Adversity and controversy would follow Taranenko throughout his career. In 84, he battled an infection that nearly took his life. After being told he'd never compete again, he resumed his training as a super heavyweight until he was stronger than he'd ever been before. Yet in 1988, he withdrew from the games in Seoul. Skeptics claimed he failed a drug test, but according to Taranenko, it was about with pneumonia that stopped him. I simply couldn't participate. But the reason that I didn't get back the strength I had before my illness. With the recent dismantling of the Soviet Union, Taranenko feels more free now to discuss his stormy past. But he remains skeptical about the future. In this chaos of our republic, there's little hope. The governing structure has remained intact. The same people in the same jobs. It's still early to talk about democracy. If it succeeds, it will be in a distant future. At home in Minsk, Belarus, with his wife Vika, Taranenko says he'd like to play a part in bringing that future closer. After Barcelona, he's considering a career as a teacher and coach. If I were a teacher, I would develop in my students those qualities I wasn't able to develop in myself. They would be free individuals with free choice, free thinking. They wouldn't have to undergo the traumas I did. No person or event can return to Taranenko his lost years. But when he stands on the Olympic stage in Barcelona, as he did in Moscow 12 years before, he might briefly find an answer to the question he asks himself every day. The question of what might have been.